In this episode, I show you how to take your G body plastics from this to this. If you have a mid 70s to maybe mid 80s GM product, there's a good chance you've got plastics that look like this, especially if your car's sat out in the sun for an extended period of its life. So, and we're going to take a look at what it takes to refurbish, refinish uh, plastics in your GM product. But hey, if you're meeting me for the first time, I'm Grant Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan, your home for offbeat hot rodding. And of course, my offbeat hot rod is a 1979. Pontiac Grand Prix, so this episode is going to be way into deep into G-body plastic repairs, but by and large this is going to work on almost any GM product, and really probably other makes and models as far as that goes. I'm going to walk you through the number of products we have here on the table uh, that we plan on using for this transformation, and we'll start with the stiff bristle brush. This is actually one of those tire cleaning brushes, um, so there might be some grease and whatnot in, in these bristles, but that's okay because we'll follow it up with washing it off with some mild dish soap. From there we've gone to SEM products and they have this, this uh, abrasive soap that they, they sell and this is going to be used in conjunction with a gray scotch brite pad. After that again we went to SEM and they have this plastic and leather prep. It's kind of a uh, more solvent based cleaner. So this is kind of going to be that last, that last round of cleaning before we go into the painting itself. So we went to SEM again for their, uh, for their interior paint. And then we also have these interior graining pads, which I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure exactly how, when I'm supposed to use these. But we're going to give it a shot when the paint's wet, see if we can't transfer over uh, some patterning back into our plastics. Last product we bought from SEM is this color chart for their color coat aerosols, and that's what we what we bought here. And you know, if we wanted to do a factory match, I think this camel would have been a little closer uh, to the, a factory match. But I wanted to kind of bring this car, this '79 Grand Prix, up to you know maybe plus 20 years, make it feel more like a 1999 something. So we went with a little more modern uh, GM color, which is from late 90s, early 2000s, this light oak. And then we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some accent pieces with this dark pewter. Our first matter of business is hitting it with the stiff bristle brush to try to get rid of all of the loose dry material we can. From there we hit it with some dish soap just to do a general cleaning. With the plastic done with its first round of cleaning, there are still a few, uh, I don't know what we're going to call these, a few spots of the, uh, the deteriorating plastic. So we're going to hit these with an 80 grit sandpaper or sanding sponge um, as the next step. According to the instructions on the SEM soap, it basically tells you to apply the soap to a gray scuff pad, scrub panel thoroughly until surface is clean and dull, rinse with water. So that's what we'll do. Final step is to use this plastic and leather prep spray, which it's basically, again, it's a solvent, so I'm just going to spray it down, you know, fairly liberally, enough so that you can get a uh, cloth to just kind of float right over the top of the surface. You don't need this to sit on here very long, because it's just trying to remove oils from, like, your fingers and things like that.
for more interior refinishing videos, I will leave some up over here and here. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this episode. So like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't care which one you do. As long as you do one, it really helps out the channel. That's going to do it for this episode. All my six fans out there, thanks for watching.